<laughs> hey everybody what is up welcome back to my youtube channel um i didn't plan on vlogging today because it's my cleaning day as you can tell i'm wearing a pumpkin shirt um i wear whatever when it's my cleaning what i mean by cleaning day is i clean my dad's house today i clean his house every other week and um <clears throat> I'm usually there from like 8 to 12 and and I just wear leggings and like holiday stuff because usually I just clean and go home but today I'm out and about and I'm not really at home very much it's a very busy day for me Penelope has a track it's Thursday so Penelope has a track meet um, and it is at a school that I have never been to kind of out in the country so I hope I can find my way um, yes and so i went and got burger king i have been good actually about trying to eat at home and eat leftovers i actually made spaghetti last night and i was gonna have leftover spaghetti for lunch but i went to the hospital with my dad after cleaning not the human hospital the uh pet hospital um some of you may know that follow me on instagram but my dad's dog Barrett has gotten really sick. Um, you you may remember him. He was in the last vlog when we were when Abigail was up and in presents. He was there. He's so cute, y'all. He's just got the cutest face, and he looks like a little to Toto dog. Anyway, um, so he had a, he had a UTI like a couple of weeks ago, and then so they took him. He was sick for like a week and a half. They got him on some medication. And then he started acting normal again. So we thought everything was good, right? And then, by the way, this is doing me no justice, this angle. But we're just, <laughs> we're just going to have to deal with it. So, but then uh, uh, Linda, my dad's wife, noticed that Barrett was not acting himself this past Sunday again. He just was not feeling or looking well. And so they took him in on this past Monday and he had another UTI. Now, I didn't think UTIs were a big deal. I, I mean, I just didn't used to them. And I just have not experienced it. But anyway, so he had a UTI. They thought it was just a UTI. But he's not acting himself. He's just laying down in the cage at the vet. He doesn't have an appetite. Um, he won't eat. He will drink. He finally, they, well, they put an IV in his little paw, on his little leg. And uh, so they found out last night that his liver and pancreas is inflamed and but they don't know why it's so inflamed like he's, he's got pancreatic that's what she linda told me and that, that it, what's hard is they don't have any answers they don't know what else is is ailing him ailing him what is that word ailing him ailing him and it's just sad so i went after i cleaned the house my dad said do you want to go up there and visit barrett at the the pet hospital and i was like sure and um it's just sad. I, 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 I'm, I mean, I kind of wanted to, you know, I thought about taking my phone in there. I mean, and, you know, showing y'all bear, but that, that's just not the time and place for that. It, that that's not my, I mean, I'm, I'm telling y'all because I would love prayers for Barrett, but I didn't think that was right for me to, you know, videotape and, and take a picture of him. He looks so helpless and he's in the little cage in the back and, um, so it wasn't just a UTI, it was something else. And th just the problem is we don't have the answers. All we know is that they're gonna do an ultrasound today to see if they can find out more. Um, but like I said, they found out his liver and his pancreas is inflamed, but they don't know why. And he has no appetite. Um, and it's just really sad, y'all. He's such a sweet dog. And he's the only dog Linda and Dad have. And he's the perfect dog for them because he's kind of like low energy. Um, you know, my dad's a senior citizen, so he needs a, like a low energy dog. And uh, like Barrett's perfect for them because he's just like he's a chill dog. He doesn't bark a lot. He's just he's just awesome. So it's really sad um, that he's. He's at, and he's had to stay at the hospital because he won't eat and he can't come home until he can, you know, act normal. And I started, when Linda told me that his pancreas was inflamed, I started Googling. And that is like one of the worst things you can do is go and Google. 
so I, I got off of there because there were all these things that I didn't want to see. So anyway, I would just appreciate y'all's prayers for my dad's dog, Barrett. I'm sure y'all have seen him if you've been watching my channel for a while. I'll try to post a picture of him if you haven't. But um, we just want answer if we know. That's what's stressful. And I was trying to ask the girl, the assistant, like, what is the problem? Why is he not eating? Why, why, why? And she, she doesn't have the answers. She can't tell me. Um, so, and it's really hard on my dad and Linda, because like I said, that's their only dog. Anyway, I'm repeating myself, but please pray for Barrett. He's, he's not even that old. He's only like four years old. Um, but please pray for Barrett. We just, we really need him and he, we need him. Um, so anyway, I've got, um, today's a cleaning day. I cleaned up my dad's, went to visit Barrett then I grabbed, um, I just grabbed, there's Burger King over here, so I grabbed lunch while I'm out. And some things are going on with my car. Uh, my radio went out, completely out, uh, the day before yesterday. And so I don't have a radio at all. It just blacked out, so I, I don't have any music. I mean, I do use my phone and, like, play music on YouTube and stuff, but I can't do that all the time because my dad is going to run out. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much just with my, my thoughts, <laughs> hearing my own self think. I miss, I miss my music, but that's kind of, like, last on the list to get fixed. I mean, the, thank God my air conditioner works and that real important stuff. Um, but, yeah, like, like I'm not going to get that fixed right now. There's way more important things to take care of and financially, but it just sucks. It So, the radio went out, and then the good thing about this car, well... And then this morning when I started to drive to my dad's, I get little messages if something's going on with the car. And, well, I got a little message saying um, I'm due for an oil change, which that's not that big of a deal. I mean, it is a big deal. I need to take care of it because um, I use this car a lot. Like, we drive a lot. I have, I like I, I tell you, I'm a taxi driver. And, um, uh, yeah, so uh, that came on today. And... I either need to go get that oil change after I pick up Abigail from school or do it in the morning before I go grocery shopping. Yeah, because we need an oil change. This is not an interesting look for me. It's just like there's nowhere to put the phone. I need like a clip and then I, I have to put the seat back and um, yeah. So I'm just sitting here in the parking lot um, eating Burger King and thinking about life and things and I try not to complain to come on here and complain too much. I'm just letting you know, yeah, my radio went out. That's a little bitty thing. I, I can live without a radio. I mean, I'll get it fixed eventually, but, um, and then I'm gonna need to go get an oil change. And I got a lot of driving it. Like I got to get to this school where Penelope's running. Like the last track meet last Thursday, the school was really close to where we live and it was just really nice. But this one's like way out in the country. I would say out in the country. And and the thing is, the, the track meet won't be over until like 9 o'clock because she, one of the races she's running is one of the last races. So it's going to be dark then, and I hate driving in the dark. I usually try to have uh, uh, pick up the girls, and then if I have to go get gas or whatever, I try not to be home by 6 p.m. or 6.30 or no later than 7. I try not to be on the road because I just don't like to drive in the dark. I don't. I really need to wear my glasses. Ah! So yeah, that is what's going on. Prayers for Barrett. Barrett, please. He's such a nice dog. I mean, he's such a nice dog. And I, I'm... They're just as important as people. They really are. Don't tell me any different, please. Don't tell me any different. So yeah, I'm just sitting here. I've got like an hour to spare. And then I need to go home and take my husband to work. And... It's just like I'm constantly on the road or doing something. I like the days. That's when, that's why, like, when the weekend comes, I really try not to do anything. But, of course, my kids won't let me because they want to get out of the house and stuff. But, like, I'm driving so much Monday through Friday that when there's no, we don't have to go to school and stuff. Like, I'm totally content just watching movies all day and I just stay at home. But, you know. Anyway, and this is a big weekend, too, because my brother is coming into town and yeah so thank you for watching i don't know what else we're gonna put in this vlog but yeah like i said the track meet is today she's running the eight 800 and the 1600 
just in case you don't know don't know what that means an 800 is two laps around the track a 1600 is four laps around the track a four a 1600 is a mile race and i don't know and then it's it, it gets done so late like we're there from like four to like nine nine p.m and it gets out so late there's no time for me to go so i just drop by like what i'm gonna have to drop by mcdonald's tonight and get some just get them some food get get them some dinner on the way home so yeah that's what's going on i need to clean out my car too there's so many things i need to do mm, this is not a good look yeah my face is so red too is it because i'm stressed i don't know hey everybody it's a few hours later you say hi hi and we're about to head to the track meet. It's a little after five o'clock. And hopefully I can find this place, this school that's out in the boonies. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on Google Maps, so I'll see y'all later. You guys, it's it, this school was only eight minutes away from my house. Um, not far at all. We saw some horses, right? Mm -hmm. Pulling in. We are out in the country. I don't know if you can see, like we're in the back roads but yeah this school is not even that far from my house i guess i guess it's because i just never come on this side of town so i was like kind of worried but yeah i guess if that's the track way over there we'll just be walking a little bit so okay let's go i just want to show y'all like how how out there's my car okay how out in the country we are there's just not many houses built up over here. And this is the track. guys we are back home okay first of all it is too cold to be having track meets it was like in the 50s it was okay when we first got there but then it got colder and colder and it's just like I was freezing but even though it was freezing I don't know if you can tell but I got sunburned even though it was overcast still wear your sunblock I even brought sunblock with me I brought my Dollar Tree sunblock in my purse but I didn't put it on because I was too much in the moment. But look. I'm tired too. I'm tired. It's 1030 at night. What do you want? What are you feed you? He come in here to say hello. What you want? Well, did your mama baby? Do y'all notice that he matches the floor? Uh, my husband got me these Mean Girl socks, by the way, from Walmart. Well, he didn't get them. I picked them out. He just bought them for me. Oh, but yeah. Max? Pepper? Max? What you doing? Where's your brother? There he is. The kids come to play. Y'all can come up on the bed if you want. Yeah. You want to come on the bed? Ugh. No, Max. <laughs> They're just going to chill in here with me. I love my cats.